everyone. My topic is Castan Elements under the Restoration Toolbox with the case of Chetinard Houses, guided by architect Ashura Tipnis. And I will be presenting this to you as a journey of the research process, a dialogue between myself and Castan. My research questions methodology are embedded in the presentation and not put out explicitly for sake of this elevator pitch. Hi Lakshmi, I'm Castan. Hi Castan, how can I help you? I was a significant building material for I could be cast into any design, prototype and mass produced. My peak usage can be seen in many Indian buildings of 19th and 20th centuries, but my usage has reduced and is limited to garden furniture, benches, lampposts, railings. I don't know if it's a lack of funds, lack of knowledge or if it is the dilemmas prevalent between theory and practice. Sometimes all of these my survival is at stake. Maybe you can help me to continue my existence. Ah, in that case, it becomes important for me to know more about you. Sure, let me tell you more about myself. The manufacturing process includes extraction, smelting, casting, and finishing making the cast iron cycle. The steps of the traditional sand casting process, properties, hmm, amazing. Let me look into the problems that you face and I'll get back to you. Hey, let me show you the compilation of effects and treatment methods from different sources of literature and interviews. Sure, these are the broader categories of what causes defects that I have compiled. You can see casting, defects, corrosion, biological colonization and incompatible interventions. Further, I made the glossary of defects table having the name of the defect, its picture, probable causes and probable threat. Awesome, but this makes me worried. How am I going to survive? Don't worry, I have got you covered. Let me present to you the treatment methods I found for you. These are for the cleaning category, repair techniques, replacement tools or methods, maintenance tools or methods. Great, but Lakshmi, as you know, not everything is easy to do or easily accessible. I have an idea. How about trying that what works for my friends in Chetinad region? That's a really good idea. One sample study would make a lot of sense. Please tell me about your friends in Chetinad. As you know, Chetias were traders and imported materials from the world. I was one among them. But look at our condition now. Hmm, let me see what can be done. Hey Lakshmi, I heard you went to Chetinad to meet my friends and see what's happening there. Yes, let me show you. Railings, column staircase, gate, bracket, roof ridge and so on. It's fantastic to see all of them. Yes, but unfortunately I came across these issues faced by them. Oh, what should we do for them? Mm, give me some more time. I have an idea. Let me work on it. Hey, hope you're doing good. Yes, very well. Without any delay, let me show you something interesting I worked on. Remember about the treatment methods I told you? Yes, I do. Well, I have relooked at them in the context of Chetina with respect to the problems you told me when we first met. Cost, proximity, ease of doing, and along with that, I looked at the environmental or human risk factor. I analyzed similar methods to these four criteria. I then took case of your friends one by one and suggested solutions as per my conclusions. Amazing. I'm happy for these ones who got your help. But what about all others in Chetinard? I have got it covered. Let me show you how. See carefully. This is the culmination of my research, which will help all the decorative cast iron elements in Chetinard. Presenting to you the toolbox. The toolbox is a linear guide where one step will lead to the next. This is the outcome of analysis I did for all elements in Chetinard. This is the first step where before doing any observations or interventions, these set of principles need to be followed throughout any level of work or intervention. In the next step, the user will refer the toolbox for issues they are facing. This is the most important part that will guide one to identify the step or steps to be taken for observed effect. From the previous stage, the user can refer to this section for method to perform or carry out the prescribed steps and treatment methods to a step-by-step -step guide. Apart from repairs and restoration, maintenance of cast is equally important. This section guides the user to formulate their own maintenance plan. This directory of resources 
is native to tetina region where contact related to any prescribed process can be located wow thank you so much lakshmi i'm glad you liked it this is soon be made available online at the studio at website for everyone now let's see what everybody has to say and try incorporating it it was fun working with you do not worry you'll be saved these are the references and thank you to more about this research please take a look at the set portfolio where you'll find the detailed tabular columns and more of my research thank you everyone thank you lakshmi that was incredibly engaging i didn't thank know whether you. i was you or i was cast iron in that <laughs> thank we you invite, we invite questions from the audience uh while we do so lakshmi uh so you said this is going to be available on studio ata's website so yeah. uh, are there any other plans in your opinion for the dissemination of these tool boxes for how they'll be given out will there be any kind of instructions like verbally told with them i think it's important that whatever is to be mentioned should be in the same pamphlet and i believe it's a linear process because understanding of principles is very important when uh, deciding on the treatment methods so uh, and also along with that what this research is uh, has brought out for all of us is a framework which can be used not just for cast iron elements in chitina or, or plaster in one place but to many other places or sometimes this framework can be applied to any other material as well so this methodology or framework can be applied uh, in creating a toolbox for other elements so i think yeah that's what i think and yeah it will be available i think on the jugada police website uh, for everyone and we will be working on animation videos further with aishriya ma'am yeah that sounds lovely we're all looking forward to it uh, to just go to jessica's question uh, so i remember you had you were struggling with your uh, site that you were studying so you had one site then you kind of picked another so how do you go about that process of selecting a site and in the dilemma you were having between two sites what did you learn and how did you overcome it yeah first of all uh, the major limitation was in understanding the material visually so how do i identify cast iron visually uh, uh, because sometimes you get confused like uh, in an in a photo which is in 2d you might not be able to identify if it's cast iron or even timber so in or there are many other varieties of metals so that it is in this process of understanding how cast iron is that i got to know the initial site i took in sipur does not have cast iron elements in majority but it is some other variant of metal so that's when i chose chetinad which is closer to where i am i am in madurai so i chose it and another reason is that it has a valid uh, literary uh, evidence which is the world heritage ouv which mentions uh, chetinad in the world heritage tentative list uh which mentions cast iron being imported from uk and also from other parts of india so that was a valid evidence after which there was a lot of struggle to go to the site i wasn't even sure if i will go is it chetina if i'll be able to uh, see for myself the defects which i learned through the literature but luckily i would like to acknowledge all those people who helped me in getting permissions because without which i could not have gone to the site it was a very short visit but i think i could get a lot of information from that especially in terms of the defects are you muted as yes you muted oh I, i was saying thank you so much lakshmi